90.3 KEXP here in Seattle and worldwide, KEXP.org. I'm Stevie Zoom in for the midday show today, and we are ready and set up for some live music in our studios. We want to welcome Unknown Mortal Orchestra to our studios. They're playing tonight at the Moore Theater, and the brand new album is Sex and Food. Welcome. You guys ready for a couple of songs? Point three KEXP here in Seattle. You're listening to live music from Unknown Mortal Orchestra. Getting ready for song number two. They're playing tonight at the Moore Theater. If you're ready, you can just go on and continue. Listen to the crunching music of the crashing mopeds all around. Painted with the burning powders of exhaust. 
tinted funerals that surround her. Grown up these on his children like turning mango flesh. Will the trouble cease when she pays off the police? Infection filled my head like springtime flower beds and evaporated trash. Pressure in the skull like leaking timber on me. Dreams so wonderful. on his children like turning mango flesh Will the trouble cease when she pays the pigs up? Unknown Mortal Orchestra here at 90.3 KEXP. Again, they're playing tonight at the Moore Theater. And the new album, album number four, Sex and Food. Again, thank you guys for being here. Ruben? Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, could you uh, first introduce the band to our listeners? As Thomas Mavis on keyboards. Uh, Jacob Portrait on bass guitar and Cody Nielsen on drums. Again, thanks for being here. How did the, you have a, You know what's cool about this album is there's all kinds of different sounds on the uh, record. It moves in different styles. I like the fact that you kind of keep people guessing on where things are going to go. Yeah, I, I guess we uh, traveled around quite a lot making the record, and I suppose it it felt like I was making like four different records at one point, and I didn't really know. Um, if it was going to work, but then I started realizing like the way that music is going um, and society is going, it's like everything's all fractured and kind of doesn't make sense. So I kept thinking about that word like fractures and things being broken up and it not really mattering too much. So we went to a lot of different places and it, I think it makes sense in the end. You did record this album in quite a few places. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we went to, uh, we were in Iceland, we were in um, South Korea, um, we recorded uh, near the DMZ, um, and we were in um, Hanoi, Vietnam, um, New Zealand, and Mexico City. I understand that during the Mexico City was uh, during the earthquake that was there? Yeah. Were you actually recording at the time of the earthquake or just there? Uh, we were recording... Uh, we were on our way to the studio. It was just me and Jake, and we were on our way to the studio, and we were eating some tacos, and then the whole world started to uh, crumble. <laughs> How long did you stay? Obviously, you stayed there through the recording. Did you stay there for... Uh, did you move out of there pretty quickly after that? We did, yeah, as soon as we could get out, because it was, it was pretty terrifying. Um, we kind of... Looking back on it, it sounds like a kind of a cool story, but at the time, it wasn't. It didn't feel very fun. <laughs> no, earthquakes aren't fun. Yeah, no, 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 no. way. <laughs> uh, they're not fun. Um, also, on this new record, um, moving around into different places, I was going to ask about um, one particular song. Um, you mentioned recording in Vietnam, and there I believe you recorded the song American Guilt. Is there any other yeah. little story you can kind of fill in as to how that came about? Uh, yeah, well, I suppose like um, the reason I went to Vietnam was because I was thinking about Jimi Hendrix a lot. It's like a really obvious influence, and... I was thinking about how to, um, how I might like um, get in the mood to record something that drew on that influence, and I, I guess I started thinking about uh, how I probably heard his music um, first on a movie about the Vietnam War, and that I think that music of that time is kind of like tied into all of that, all those movies and TV shows that came out about that, and so I thought maybe if I went to Hanoi, I would, um, in particular, I wanted to. I, I was thinking about All Along the Watchtower, which is like kind of, you know, obviously one of the best recordings ever made. And then, yeah, we just went into the studio one day and started working on that song and we kind of got it and uh, 
it as a live um, kind of live recording. All right. As people can tell, you have a New, New Zealand accent. You are from there. But you've been living in Portland for quite a while now, right? Yeah, about 10 years. 10 years. So you do live in Portland pretty much all the time? Uh, yeah, I tour a lot, so I'm not home uh, a ton, but yeah, <laughs> that's where I'm based, yeah. You have other countries to get to to record in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the new album is Sex and Food from Unknown Mortal Orchestra. They're playing tonight at the Moore Theater. Are you ready to continue with a couple of more songs? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try. <laughs>
Unknown Motor Orchestra playing live here in our studios. Honey Bee was the song right there from the new album, Sex and Food. And again, they're playing tonight at the Moore Theater. Should we do one more? You got one more? Yeah. That'd be wonderful. Unknown Mortal Orchestra playing live here in our studios. Not in love. From the new album, Sex and Food. And they're at the Moore Theater tonight. Thank you guys for being here. And I uh, hope the travels go smoothly for you. And again, they're playing tonight at the Moore Theater. A big thank you to our engineer, Kevin. It's 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.